guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video hope you guys are all doing well i have been scrolling and seeing quite a lot of autumn within the homeware shops so tomorrow i am going to be heading to the shops and taking you guys with me but it's actually the evening before and i wanted to start this vlog here because i wanted to share with you a product that i have been loving within my evening skincare routine that's why i'm starting this vlog a little later on in the day so i have cleansed my skin my skin is dry and ready for skincare and i have been using i've actually talked about this in my holiday vlog from ambigin this is a serum and cream personal for me you can even see that on the bottle it's the and begin the revolution this brand and begin is actually the sister company to skin me who you guys have heard me talk about before i've loved using their products and this is targeted more towards maturing skin uh, midlife skin which i'm 32 now so i currently have no makeup on this is what my skin is looking like this is my second bottle that i am now on like skin and me it's personalized skincare with the product being designed by dermatologists all you need to do to get this is complete an online consultation which is super easy to do i'll leave my unique link to that in the description box below along with a discount code which i do have for you guys which is freya yt for um getting your first order for just 4.99 so all the more reason to give this a try if your skin like myself is of that age bracket where you want to think about anti-aging you want to reduce fine lines and wrinkles improve texture pigmentation breakouts as well which is the thing that i have noticed most benefit in terms of my skin because i can get breakouts i also have quite sensitive skin so this despite having proven active ingredients potent retinoids also peptides and ceramides it's an all-in-one powerhouse that literally hydrates soothes but in a kind way to my sensitive skin so i just do a couple of pumps for on my face and i'm pressing it into my skin which obviously this is supporting my evolving skin as it ages and i also then pop a pump on for on my neck because we've got to make sure to take care of our neck area as well as our face i feel like that's one thing that you don't get taught when you're younger is to bring that product all the way down so yeah this is all i do every single evening out on clean dry skin once i've taken my makeup off and cleanse I literally just press this into my skin. Taking the fuss out of evening skincare it is just making my life so much easier. So the Revolution, it's been formulated using their unique 123 age management system, which is explained actually on the packaging that it comes in. All the packaging, by the way, is recyclable, which we love, vegan friendly, cruelty free. It's unlike anything you can really get on the high street, especially with it having it all in one product, targeted specifically and personalized for you. And of course you will also receive that continuous expert skin support from their midlife specialist so yeah i really can't recommend them enough i've been loving using this within my evening routine so i'm actually really excited to see how you guys get on with it because i know that over the last month or so that i've been using it noticing these visible results how i'm just so excited for you guys to try it too please please do let me know if you actually do try it because i would love to hear how you have found it as well or let me know if you're already a fan of the brand and if you have already been using their hero product this serum and a cream from ambergen the revolution link and code will be left in the description box for you guys but anyway i'm going to um just pop on a little bit of lip balm get ready for bed now i think i'm gonna read this evening i have been loving the second installment of avatar series the oh, i don't even know is it mr fury i think we're about 15 chapters in so yes i'm gonna have an hour or so reading before bed and then i'll pick you guys back up in the morning to head out to the shops okay we've made it we've made it to first pit stop which is home sense and tk max i i think i'm just gonna head into i'm not gonna overdo it today with with it still being you know fairly early in the year i'm gonna head in to home sense tk max i think i'm also going to go to next i've seen they've got their autumn bits out and they always do some lovely seasonal decor and the range in fact i think we'll go to the range after this because yeah, I've already been once to the range and I've seen that they've got a few bits in already. So, um, yeah, we'll head over there as well. So, just, you know, get comfy, light a candle, grab a PSL, 
<laughs> you're gonna have to DIY it because I don't think they're out until, is it end of August they come out? Just grab a nice cozy drink, you know, get comfy and let's head into the shops together. So here we are, first up Home Sense. This is the Hanforth store. I know quite often you guys ask me which store I go to. I find that this one is really good. I did like the Trafford Centre one, but that's now gone. So hand and forth it is. How good was that bowl, by the way, for like sweets, Halloween treats and things on Halloween to have by your front door? I thought that was really, really good. Anyway, they had loads of garlands, candles, wreaths, and honestly, everything. Cushions, mugs quite the selection so much so that i feel like it's pretty much full-blown autumn in store now look at all this glassware as well super pretty designs this i feel like comes back every single year in <laughs> that design i also loved that marble cake stand obviously good for all year round a little bowl again for sweets by your front door could be cute a little farmer's market for just some autumn decor same with these print and artwork cute little ghost cushion then heading over to tk maxx which is pretty much the same definitely less stock in tk maxx i've noticed obviously as you would expect uh home sense is the one to go to if you are after that kind of like halloween autumn decor hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the ocean. Okay, there is proof behind my madness with that experience right there. Home Sense TK Maxx, incredible. <laughs> They've already got quite a few bits out. And prime example of why you need to be quick, there was um, a cushion that I saw, I vlogged it, a like little ghost cushion that I was like, oh, that's so cute. I was looking and I was like, I'm going to ring and I was like, do I don't put it down. Walked away, I must have walked about 10, 15 steps. And I thought, you know what? No, I am going to get it. Turned around, a woman had already swiped it. <laughs> and I think, I mean, I'm going on a weekday when it's a bit quieter, but every single trolley that I saw had Halloween bits in it. So I'm not the only one. So you do really have to be quick if you want to get the good stuff. So I did pick up quite a few bits. But anyway, I'm going to head to the range next, which I think is going to be another successful trip we will see i have actually very kindly been given a voucher from the range so all the more reason to get spending on some autumn bits and then a little trip to next and Donnell before heading home and sharing with you the bits that i did get i'm just so excited for autumn i'm not wishing the summer away though that's the difference i think when people see my content they're like oh it's not even been summer yet that's not my point i'm not getting these things to put them out already i'm getting them to put them away for autumn i'm still welcoming some barbecues and some like long late summer evenings and all of that jazz but i do love autumn i can't help it now time for the range and this store is the one in stockport it's quite a big one they've got a kind of outdoor section they've got a big iceland section for food so loads of stock usually. I really enjoy this store as well as the Ultrium one. And as you can tell, lots of home decor with some Halloween-y bits, but also just the more kind of relaxed autumn decor with the nice kind of natural textures if uh, sort of like a Halloween theme isn't your thing. These new candles, which I've noticed at 4 dollars loved the um, Cozy Morning one, which you may have seen. 
the end of this video. I did actually pick up that one. Loads of foliage, as always, I think the range is really good when it comes to faux foliage, not just at this time of the year, but all year round. Loads of bedding, cushions, vases, lights, honestly, all sorts. And also, as well as the like kind of orange theme, you've definitely got the neutral style too. Also loads of crafty bits which I was a fan of. So if you too are a bit of a crafty person, then the range is place to go. Then over to Dunelm, they've got this new olive leaf and fern range, which I thought was gorgeous, again, for all year round. But they are teasing us with some pumpkin bits, some placemats, some kitchenware. Loved that enamel. How nice is that for in the kitchen? It was like more of a creamy with like a green um, border. Some gorgeous bits in the bathroom section too. And also then I headed over to Next. Now Next Home is one of my favorites for seasonal decor at this time of the year as we go into autumn. They had some Halloween bits as well. I feel like they might have more to come. I've seen some more online, so I will be keeping my eyes peeled for more in stores. But here are a few of my favorite finds that I did spot. Let me know of all of these, which would you pick out yourself? Okay, so just in next and spotted they have loads of Halloween bits in, but they also have some summer sale bits. And I love these set of two napkin rings for 2 50 kind of like white company style. Um, and then they've also got these placemats. They were 22 for a set of two, now down to 10, like a seagrass charger plates. They are not placemats. Well, it's basically the same thing, but yeah, for outdoor dining in summer, I think they are really nice. They also have like loads of these unique um, individual pots. They've got these smaller ones at 14 pounds. I love the shape of them. Some wooden ones, some ceramic. And then they've also got that one that I liked, but in a larger shape, uh, a larger size at 32 pounds. I just love the texture and color of that. I think that is so, so nice. We're all done. We are all done and I have actually been surprised with how much autumn stuff is in the stores already i thought it was going to be like a few little bits it's like full-blown autumn in the shops now anyway just popped by m s to head home and grab myself a little salad a little m s haul um i got some of these ginger shots which i love couldn't resist the old custard cream chocolate coated but I went in because I saw this on TikTok. I keep seeing people trying this. I don't know why I get fed foodie things, but if M&S is anything to go by in terms of the chocolate coated custard creams that I'm obsessed with, then this might be really nice. So it's basically, it's called the Big Daddy. And I think if you're like a Reese's fan, you might like this because it is, oh my God, the size of this chocolate bar, look at this. Wow, yeah, it's peanutty, which I wouldn't usually go for, but I do like Reese's, so. Mmm. A layer of caramel, wow, that's good. And then this chocolatey thing in the middle. Delish. It's that bit that's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. I'm a fan. Still nothing on the uh, the old custard creams though. Chocolate coated custard creams. We start with the big boy. Sorry, if you see that there, it's a bite that I got on holiday. We covered ourselves in bug spray on holiday because we saw some people's legs when we first arrived and it was like, Ooh. And it worked. I only got one tiny little bite here on my elbow. But both Tom and I ended up getting a bite on our face, which is the only place we didn't spray. So that's a bit annoying, but it's going down slightly. But anyway, 
Um, it's not itchy anymore, that's the most important thing. I'm gonna actually start with Next because I only got one thing from Next and they had loads of things that I was tempted for but I feel like they've still got more to come so I thought I would hold off on the Next purchases apart from this one because I did think this would be a lovely addition to New Autumn and it's basically pumpkin and maple scented potpourri. So I just love the look of it, the colour of it, and obviously the fact that it will smell lovely too. This was £12 for quite a generously sized bag. I tend to just pop these in like a wooden bowl by the front door on the console there. Okay, let's move on to TK Maxx. I, I did get uh, some non-autumn bits, but I thought I would start with them. But yeah, £16.99 for this. And this was with all the wreaths, but it's one of these, what do they call these? What do they call them? A swag have i made that up something like that isn't it is that what it's called i can't remember but it's just like a hanging decoration which i thought instead of a wreath on the front door this could be quite nice or on one of the back doors maybe but 16.99 so similar price to the wreaths and it's all neutral tones which i love so there's these neutral looking leaves dry looking leaves these pine cones everything is fake on it though these little fake berries little woven pumpkins and no what's it called it's coming to me it is a swag i think let me google that oh and also just open my google my latest google search is home sense dog friendly because i saw three dogs in home sense and i thought look if we can bring our dogs to home sense i'll be very happy and it says most home sense branches in the uk allow dogs who knew but the final decision is up to the individual store manager so, I might start taking Barney with me on a little uh, home sense trip. Autumn swag for front door. Yeah, autumn swag, that's exactly what it's called. I did also get one ceramic pumpkin at only £8.99. I thought this was quite affordable. It's nice and um, like textured, it's not just a plain ceramic. As you can see, it's got lots of detailing and it's more of a neutral, softer tone rather than like a stark white, but very pottery barn inspired. And I think their pumpkins are literally like 50 pounds, something ridiculous, but 8 99 for that one. I also got another one of these uh, pots from the garden section for within our garden at 7 99 Obviously you can put these wherever. I've got a few in the house as well. I just think they add a nice rustic touch to your home without a really expensive price tag. A couple of candles, when you can you go to Home Sense and not buy a candle, especially when the autumn candles are out. This one's not necessarily like specifically themed, but I thought it would look really nice out in autumn time. And it's called Charcoal Oud Wood. So again, quite a deep, rich scent. It's got like a mahogany top, this one. I see this brand in there quite a, quite a lot. And they are quite nice, so. I've had a couple from them in, in the past, but I thought that one would be nice to save, pop to one side for autumn. And then this one as well, I'll pop to one side because this one is actually called Autumn Winds, like this little kind of cork label. And it's also a wooden wick. It does smell nice as well. They had quite a few of this design in different scents with different colors. Like they had a pumpkin one in more of an orange pot. Um, they did have a black one, which I did also pick up. This one, which is called Woodland Leaves. This one's more of a, yeah, forest kind of smell. Oh, so good. And again, with the little wooden wick. Yeah, they were both $9.99, and then this one was $12.99. They had that one in the smaller size, $8.99, though. And then, is this last of the candles? I think it is. It's $7.99. I again love the kind of warmth that this one will bring and it's just called, um, it's in the scent Cedar Embers. So again, quite smoky, woody, oh, just very warm. So this was the cushion in question that I then went to the, did I finish that story? I think I was telling you in the car, wasn't I, that I saw one, a woman picked it up but then I went back down to, because it was just like randomly placed that one, went back down to the cushion section and there was one left. So I did pick it up and I was actually, that was like, well, that's my sign. Uh, 19.99 for that one. It's just plain on one side and then a little ghost face on the other. I'm thinking about popping this on Barney's bed down in the kitchen when it's more closer to Halloween. I'd say October. 
I bring out more Halloween-y bits, but September is like when I start to introduce the autumn decor, a bit more subtle autumn decor like this. Yeah, Halloween is more for October. Again, to kind of add a warmth um, within the kitchen in sort of September time, or this would be nice all year round, these uh, kitchen towels. I just decided to pick these ones up at 5 99 for a pack of three, and they are just simply a kind of sage green and white stripe. Just all the same. I saw this framed print and I thought it was really affordable. They had a few of them. I just picked up the one and it's like a kind of line drawing of uh, some flowers. So I'm thinking about popping this on maybe um, like as a backdrop to one of my shelf situations. It won't fit that way though. It would have to go that way, but I think that's fine, isn't it? If you pop it that way. But yeah, it was only 9 99 for obviously the frame itself it comes with a mount, so you can pop your own artwork in there if you prefer. But otherwise, a nice little line drawing. I thought that was really reasonable for 9 99 Again, more Halloween-y, these ones, at 9 99 They had quite a few different designs, but I decided to pick up just the plain white little felt ghosts. Again, in like a little bowl on a console table, um, in a living room, by your front door, wherever really. But I just thought they were so... So cute. Then they had these pumpkin garlands. They had loads of garlands actually, but this one I thought was quite nice because again, you could just, rather than have it as a garland, which I don't even know where I'd put a garland, maybe on the fireplace, I'm not sure. But I don't know if I would decorate like that. I would prefer to have these maybe sat again within like a wooden bowl. The felt um, little leaves as well, there it's just literally one thread that's on those. So I even thought about maybe taking those off because they're a bit too, lime green for my liking i think i mean i've undecided but um obviously as a garland lovely but i'm thinking as individual little pumpkins without those leaves very similar to like the white company felt pumpkins that they do and they actually use them more as like table play settings as well to maybe pop a napkin underneath and have like on display on your table if you're hosting or down the middle of the table in like a dough bowl loads of different uses for little felt pumpkins like that and yeah that was 12.99 i got this a pack of 10 pack of microfiber cloths at 4.99 with the um five of the kind of like rust color and also another five of like just a simple beige colour but yeah we just needed some more microfiber cleaning cloths so I got those and then what else did I get oh I got this for Barney he's gonna love this so they had quite a few again seasonal Halloween dog toys but I saw this and again it's not too themed so this could just be out all year round but it is also like woodland <laughs> this kind of time of well not even this time of the year let's face it autumn when I say this time of the year as in because we're talking about autumn but Barney is not a dog that is a, he is playful, but only like with his toys, he only really plays with them with us, like a tug of war or fetch or whatever. But on his own, he only ever plays with one toy and that is a burrow toy. So a toy like this, whereby you've got little things within a hole and there's three different little squirrels, a little hole at the top there in this log. So yeah, burrow toys are the only ones that he seems to like. So 12 99 for that one. I do think they are a bit more expensive, but they are a toy that he actually plays with by himself. Then I also saw another one of these kind of um, pots in the garden section. This was actually in the clearance for, had the yellow sticker on, £2.80 that one. And I don't have one that has a multi-colour like that. I thought this one would be quite nice sat out on. We've got a little bistro set out in the garden now, which I thought we could pop this on and either have, in fact, there's a little hole in it in the bottom that would hold nicely. We've got some citronella incense sticks. So I might use that for that, actually. I'm just thinking out loud now. Um, so that the incense will all burn into this as if it's like a little ash tray. And then lastly from TK Maxx and Home Sense, I saw these in the kind of bathroom section. I thought these would look nice on my bath tray, just some Italian citrus bath salts. They had lavender scented and then they had this Italian citrus scent, which I thought sounded lovely. Let's give it a little whiff. Oh wow, quite strong. Yeah, very lemony. But that would make your whole bathroom smell insane. Good for this time of the year. So there we go. 
there's my little summary purchase. Just a couple of purchases from Dunnell. Firstly, these two little wooden spoons. I think these are four pounds. Thinking about adding more of these kind of storage jars, like the wood lidded storage jars within our pantry and having a full pantry clear out. I need to get rid of some bits that are in that, that pantry, but actually reorganize it and i want all the aesthetic jars i've got a few that i do use all the time but i just wanted to kind of decant everything also got this little spatula we needed like a long one like this we have a plastic one that's just not very good so i'm going to get rid of that and i decided to purchase the kitchenaid one in the cream handle i think these are about 15 pounds i saw these little air fresheners so i've never seen these before i don't think from the edited life at two pounds they are in eucalyptus and bergamot and I thought they'd be really nice. I got two because I thought they'd be really nice as car air fresheners. But also obviously you could pop these within um, smaller rooms, drawers, bags, whatever, gym bags. Okay and then lastly from the range, you may have seen, I did mention that I've been to the range. I've got a couple of awesome bits already which you'll have already seen in another vlog like that wooden pumpkin that I got. And just more kind of home decor that suits autumn time rather than themed stuff so um yeah head back and check out that video if you missed it but um since then they brought out loads more bits and with their voucher that they very kindly gave me i'll show you everything that i did get so we've got a cinnamon and nutmeg mushroom diffuser so the actual lid is like a wooden lid that obviously gives off the scent the aroma they've got the sticks in there just like same color wood as that mushroom diffuser was 4.99 $5.99 they have these door stops in I don't know if they had these last year I don't remember seeing this color but it's like a dark green they had these in a few different colors all kind of neutral themed as well and um, then I also got this candle they had a couple of these new candles in pomegranate and then this one cozy morning this one was my favorite scent it's very it's just stereotypical autumn candle i would say it's quite warm there's a bit of coffee in there how much is that cozy morning candle 4.99 i feel like it's just a scent that might get a little bit sickly and then at 2.99 i've got these bags of potpourri how cute are these little tiny pumpkins again within a little bowl i was to keep this inside to pop a bag of this in there and just have it sat out somewhere just as a nice scented home selling smelling product why is everything in miniature just the most adorable thing ever no idea where these are going yet i need to find a home for them but i bought two lamps which were very similar to a couple that i have from zara home zara home lamps are beautiful but they are expensive and these ones are not expensive so i got this lamp you see that like kind of bronze colored textured base this one was i think it was about 15 yeah 15.99 it's called the callan table lamp oh, but then i also bought this huge one of which i might switch out the shade i'm not sure but this is called the hadley table lamp and again the base of this is what made me think zara home dupe it's a very very textured distress looking it's not like a stark white it's got like a kind of irregularity to the color and a really nice off it's not even an off white it's more like a stone beige color just really really pretty this one was 49.99 so quite a bit more expensive but again still when you compare it to the zara home prices and then lastly at 24.99 i've got this set of three seagrass baskets these come in so so handy as well, loads of different uses. You've got log baskets next to your log fire. You've got blankets and throw baskets to add a nice cozy touch, especially for seasonal decor as well. You've got plant planters you can actually use these for, especially if you've got like um, our olive tree down in the kitchen, which is a faux olive tree from Home Bargains. Just to have it in a pot like this is just so nice. And to get three of these baskets for $24.99, I think that's great value for money. I might even use these as outdoor living as well. And that's everything that I got. So we had a pretty chunky haul with loads of autumn goodness. So you're welcome, those of you that like autumn. And apologies, those of you that don't. Don't worry, we still have some summer content to come. But for now, I'm gonna go make myself a nice cozy drink. Maybe have a little bit more of the big daddy. <laughs> we are back in my bathroom this evening. 
and I've just jumped out of the shower but I just wanted to remind you guys again if you wanted to try the and begin the revolution this new serum and cream that I have been absolutely loving and really want you guys to try out yourself again just a reminder a couple of pumps on your face pump for your neck every single evening on clean dry skin super easy and convenient all in one powerhouse that I just couldn't recommend enough. Not only that, but I also have the discount code if you wanted to try your first order for just $4.99. All you need to do is click that link that I will leave in the description box for you below so that you can complete your free online consultation, which is so quick and easy to do. And the team will be in touch as soon as your product is ready specifically for you with your name on it let me know if you have any questions as well happy to answer them but otherwise i feel like i'm going to close off today's video here i hope you guys have enjoyed it a little sneak peek into what is to come in sort of september i just love autumn so much and yeah i'm definitely getting a taster of it in the shops i know it's early and i know i get so much hate for talking about autumn too early but the shops bring it to me. I feel like it's only my duty to at least tell you what is in the stores. So that if you want to get your hands on anything to pop away for autumn, then don't shoot the messenger. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, for those of you that are excited for autumn, like me, then do let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.